Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem! Let's see if we can find the Light Sphere and try to save Tiki from Garnet's Grasp. Okay, so, well, let's get the last of the treasure around here with Julian, starting with a Sky Drake Whip, the job class upgrade item for Pegasus Knights. So I want to get that to Sita in a bit. Now, I'm a bit concerned about the thief up here because they're going to start attacking us soon. And they've got 24 attack power with the Devil Sword. So I got to be careful with my uh, positioning around here. So let's see. How far can Marth move? Let's check that out. Okay, he can move that far. So how about we do this? I'll move Navarre here for now. Yeah, that'll do. And then let's get Katria moved back a little bit because I want Marth to deliver the new Levin Sword over to her since Marth's gonna have the Star Sphere now. So his durabil weapon durability issues are a thing of the past. So yeah, let's get that one over to her. And then, yeah, that'll clear the inventory slot for a Seraph Robe from Bantu there. So let's get that over to him, and I'll have him use that in the next round, probably. And Bantu can more than easily survive an attack from the thief if he decides to attack him. Okay, and then, let's see, with Wendell, let's just get as close as we can. Although I don't think I'm going to have him do very much in the remainder of the battle. Let's get Gordon up here. And then the thief can move up to here. So I want to keep everyone here out of range of the thief because we probably couldn't sustain a hit from him and one of the mages. So let's see, which one is which here? Okay, so that one I could kill with Thoron. So I think I'll go with that. So yeah, finish that one off. And then, well, yeah, well, I think we should get enough experience. Let's see what this guy has. All right, there we go. And we get another level. What do we get out of this one then? Weapon, speed, luck, not bad. Not bad. Okay, then with the mage, I can't attack them without putting myself in range of the thief. So I'm going to move back a little bit. And chances are, I would imagine the mage is probably going to attack uh, Gordon there, but that's fine. He can survive that. I really just want Gordon up here to get in range of the thief. And in the event that for some reason, maybe they decide to attack Merrick, let's equip a weak fire spell there. And then I think we're good to go. See what we can do. So hopefully the thief just stays put. Okay, yeah, go into melee range against Gordon, that's fine. I've got way more speed than that guy. Oh, okay, you're just shuffling around positions. Okay. But in any case, okay, so we've got... Yeah, Julian, let's get the last chest which contains... Well, that's not a light sphere. Where is it? Well, in any case, with the uh, speed ring, I want to give that to Astrum. Normally, I would have him use it because his speed growth is... Or his speed growth rate is 20%. The same as Samson, but Samson actually has less speed than Astrum at this point. So I'll give it to Astrum for now, but I'm going to give it to Samson later in the next battle, that is. But uh, yeah, he's doing surprisingly well on his speed growth there. Okay, then let's see to deal with these guys. Let's have Rad kill the, yeah, the mage there. Now that we're able to kill the thief before they could attack 
red. Okay, we're good. We're good. We got more than enough to survive there. What do we get out of this one? Well, almost another level, but not 99. Okay, so with the thief, let's see, I would need 20 attack power to kill them in one battle. And yeah, I'm just short of that. So, I need someone to soften up the thief for me. So, let's see. Let's have Merrick do that. With his fire spell there. We don't need to hit him too hard. Just a little bit. And I want the accuracy there. Although the thief does have terrain effect. So, Gordon might not be able to kill the thief. But, we'll see. Skill, and that's it. Eh, terrible. Okay, and then, let's see, with... Okay, so with where the thief is now, let's see, I need 15 attack power to kill them in one battle, if I can get both hits to go through. So, if I can do it with a steel bow, great. If not, I'm gonna have to have Lin finish off the guy. Not. Okay, well, I'll take what I can get. And then, okay, so for the rest of that, probably just use Thoron or Fire. Fire would be enough. Yeah, you know what? Let's use Fire since I got guaranteed accuracy with that. We've got plenty of uses left. So let's see, Fire, yeah, right there. And then I don't need to worry about the enemies attacking me anymore. But yeah, the reason why I would have wanted Gordon or Lind to kill the thief is because we get the Light Sphere from them. Hooray! I wonder if that's the thief having the Light Sphere is symbolic of the thief having taken this chest, which was empty at the beginning of the battle, and it was right next to the Star Sphere chest there. So, yeah, like, nice little bit of gameplay storyline going there. Okay, so, I would like Navar to give one of his swords over to Sita, which is partially why I moved him where I did, but it would be nice to kill the curates with Sita and Navar as well. So, how about we do this? We'll get you in range of one of them, at least. And then, bound to. Eventually, I want him to give the Geosphere to Julian. But for now, we'll just stick around here. And get others in the way. Let me see if I can... I don't want to attack Tiki, though. So... Yeah, why don't we use our Seraph robe... And I'm moving Marth here to show some dialogue from Tiki. But, yeah. Oh, did we only gain nine? Huh. For some reason, I thought the Seraph robe gave us ten. Uh, whatever. But, uh, okay. So, with Katria, her work is pretty much done. But I'll put her in range if I need her maybe to soften up one of the curates. Then Wendell, yeah, we don't need to worry about healing anymore. And I think we're good to go. So yeah, Tiki does have some dialogue if she attacks you on her turn or not. Huh. Maybe she didn't attack because of Mars' high defense. Well, in any case, uh, Tiki does have... Uh, the Divine Stone, which only boosts her might, or, well, yeah, it has a might of 12, but it's strong against Monarchies. So, let's see what we can do here. Okay, so with the Curate, now, actually, you know what? Let's have Rad kill one of the Curates and get a level out of it. I actually don't really need him to make the kill. But, 
If we can, so much the better. And get another level. What do we get out of this one then? Speed, luck, and that's it. Okay. Well, not horrible. Okay, then let's see. Navarre. Let's see, I'm just thinking between Sita and Navarre. Would be nice if Sita could get the kill. Although that might take a little while. But I do need to... Uh, I want to show some dialogue from Tiki. But, uh, okay, so with the Sky Drake Whip, yeah, get that over to Sita. And the Speed Ring, get that over to Astrum. Let's see, these two, yeah, they're just gonna sit there for a little while. Meanwhile, let's get Sita up into the action and use the Sky Drake Whip there. And that should be a pretty sizable upgrade for her stats. Not as much as... Gordon, no, no, we're not talking crazy, but still pretty good to be upgraded to the Wyvern Knights. Let's see what you get out of that one. Okay, so plus six strength, that's nice. See, nothing for the next four stats. Let's see, plus six defense, very nice. And most importantly, plus two movement. So yeah, that'll be really nice for her. Okay, then, yeah, why don't we just deliver the fresh silver sword over to Sita, since I want her to make the kill, and then I'm going to need someone else to take a hit from Tiki there. So, Katria, I don't think she would take any damage from her, would she? Yeah, so Tiki only has, like... 15 attack power. But I need someone who can survive a hit. So let's see. Linda could do that. Though I'd really rather not use up my weapon durability. What about Gordon? Yeah, he can survive a hit from her. Let's go with that. And that way, I mean, if she doesn't attack Katria, then she'll certainly attack Gordon. And let's see, as far as any more inventory management I need to do. Let's see, okay, I've already delivered everything except the Geosphere eventually. Okay, so we got that. Pass the turn and see what goes on here. Well, stay away from her! Stay away from the summoner! For boss time! Against Tiki the Monikeet. Ow! But, uh, okay, so we took the hit successfully. Let's see, with Sita now. Okay, we're gonna have to get a little closer, but we'll get there eventually. Okay, so with Julian, let's move on up there. And before bringing Bantu over there, uh, let's see. So I brought him over all the way over here because if you move him right next to her, we can talk to her. Hey, how's it going? What do you mean? What, like some sort of mind control or something? Well, Alive? Oh, that's... Ha ha. Good, good. Okay, okay. Who do you think you are, Maria? But now we've got more party members with Tiki, who is actually pretty good because of her... Uh, what is it? Divine Stone there that's strong against enemy monikeets and there's one particular battle way later in the game where that could be really useful for us i'm not going to be using her because she's just way too late in the game for me to want to develop but she does have actually pretty good stat growth otherwise but yeah i'm not going to be using her so let's get her out of the way 
And then, let's see, maybe I could have Bantu. Let's see, how far can he go? Not very far. Okay, so how about we do this? We'll move Navar here, and then Bantu will deliver the Geosphere over that way. Let's have Mar or Marth get over here, but don't seize the throne yet. Because, well, I still got an enemy to kill and items to deliver. Okay, so we get that. Then Bantu. Yeah, let's deliver the Geosphere over to Julian eventually. And uh, eventually I will want Julian to deliver the Geosphere to Zane. But for now, we'll just stick it on him since... He has more inventory space at the moment. Okay, so with the curate, let's see how much damage could I deal now with my with one hit of the silver sword. So we've got 21 attack power. Okay, so 16 damage. So I need to deal six damage to bring the curate into lethal damage range with one hit. So, let me see here, as far as uh, softening them up goes. Let's see, red. Yeah, these 11 swords are burning a hole in my pocket. So, why don't we, yeah, use one of those to soften up the curate. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's all we need. Oh, uh, yeah. Although, more experience is always good, too. Very nice. And then, yeah, because I want to soften the guy up, even though I could kill them in one battle because they're sitting on a pillar, and I might not be able to pierce through that. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I forgot about it. Uh, the Light Sphere also has a special function, like the Star Sphere, other than, you know, you got to deliver it to Goto eventually. But uh, what it does is it removes... Uh, any evasion to the enemy granted by a uh, terrain effect. So I want to give that to Gordon since his, he could use the help with the relatively lower accuracy of the steel bow and the silver bow. And he has less skill than George does since I gave George the, the book earlier, whatever that was, that boosted his skill permanently but otherwise i think we're done let's uh seize the throne after getting all that treasure oh okay uh what's going on well i read about him in the instruction manual but other than that he didn't seem to do very well with the sable order oh yeah i know i, I was kind of there while we were running away Whoa! Nice. I wonder why that is. Oh. Okay. Should we care about that? Oh. Okay, so that's what you were doing over there. Well, now we know. Oh. Well, what do you mean? Did they execute him? Oh, okay, uh, so, he still murdered your kingdom and all that. Oh, okay. I wonder what ever happened to him anyway. Find out next time, and let's play Fire Emblem. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.